Have you always wanted to play a sport or have played sports in the fall and winter like soccer or basketball but never actually considered one in the spring? Well, if you want to try something different and it's a sport that's exciting and competitive, tennis is the way to go. But why wait until later in the year for your main sport when you can spend a season having fun and still staying in shape? Being that I've played since freshman year, I've seen people come from different sports. But don't take it from me. Take it from the coaches and players who have the best advice for joining. So tryouts are going to be, uh, they're going to start Monday, March 12th. As of now, it's a tentative date, so it might switch. But as of right now, it looks like Monday, March 12th, it would be three days. So it would be March 12th, 13th, and 14th. The practices will officially start then March 15th, which is uh, Thursday, with the team after tryouts. Uh, practices are 3.10 until 5.30 or 5.15, depending on the day. And then matches roughly start right at April 1st. Practices, um, I mean, I guess it really depends on, uh, like, if we got a match coming up or uh, if it's just a regular practice. Like, we'll run through warm-ups and... Uh, you know, our captain here, Brett, and uh, Cooley this year will take us through those. But, you know, we'll, depending on if you're singles and stuff like that, you'll do drills specific to that. You can expect that you're going to be playing in various conditions, whether it's windy, extremely hot, or just freezing cold. I mean, for one time I played in the snow. That was quite interesting. <laughs> and just expect that your opponent knows how to play and that they can put the ball back onto your side of the court. Gear-wise, you need at least one racket. It doesn't really matter. There's kids on the team who have $20 rackets, and there's kids on the team who has $200 rackets. And just basic athletic wear, and the most important part would probably be tennis shoes, because running sneakers won't cut it. They will get destroyed within the first week. They'll, you'll put a hole through it. Um, and just show up ready to win. The, the biggest uh, attribute that we're looking for are kids who are good students first and, and good good athletes second and I would even go as far to say you know good people uh, we can teach them all tennis skills in the world but if they they can't maintain their grades if they can't be responsible and, and disciplined and be a good teammate then you know we're really at, in an uphill battle you know instructing them and helping them so you know we want kids who are responsible organized disciplined and just well-rounded kids who are willing to work hard so if someone came from a different sport um, and they wanted to try to do this and get some playing time, it's definitely possible because a lot of sports incorporate a lot of the same ideals and a lot of the same movements. Um, your core is still used in any sport that you really play. Um, I always tell people that I could take an athlete and make them a tennis player. It's harder to take someone who wants to play tennis who's not as much of an athlete to play sport. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I can take an athlete and Coach Hall can take an athlete and make them a tennis player because the skill sets are pretty much the same as a lot of other sports. Good hand-eye coordination and good footwork. When, this, when tennis players are out of season, uh, the nice thing about being a tennis player is you can either play at a club or you can play at a recreational field or facility. If you don't even have the money to, to pay for tennis, you can play for free. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to work with courtside and have lessons, have instructors there, work with our team, give us court time and, and give us those extra sessions and technique skills that, that we need to be successful. Tennis has persuaded me uh, to uh, play maybe in college recreationally and because it's just a fun sport and great guys here at 40. So if you want to find me to ask about the team, um, I'm found in room 322 most of the day. It's the business lab. I'm there a lot of the day. Um, and then from 2.30 on, it's I coach three seasons, so you can find me with whatever season I'm coaching. I'm coaching basketball in the winter, so you can find me in the gym a lot. So either 322 or the gym is where I'd recommend to come ask me about the sport.